In this video, I will show you how to make this gold chain in Blender in just five minutes. As always, it is going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Start off by pressing X to delete the default cube, Shift A, and then go to Curve and add a circle curve. And then press number 7 for top view, tab for edit mode, select the right segment and press R, X, then 60. Then select the bottom segment and then press R, Y, then 60. Select the left segment and press R, X, then minus 60. And then the top segment and press R, Y, then minus 60. And then you can press tab for edit mode. And then we're going to fill the curve. So press shift A and add another curve. And then press G, then X to grab it on the X axis. And then select the original curve. And then we'll make the curve circle the bevel object. So geometry object and then select the circle and then select the circle and press s to scale it down to make it thinner and then we can save before we continue so we'll give it a name save it wherever you want on the computer and then press enter to save and then we're going to turn this into a mesh so convert to mesh and now that we have a proper mesh we can delete the curve and then select the mesh Go into the modifiers and let's add a subdivision surface modifier to increase the number of vertices. And then we can also add some smooth shading to the object. Okay, and then we can apply the modifier. And then press number no one for front view. And then we're going to cut out the top and the bottom of this object. So press Shift A. And then add a default cube. Press S, then set to scale it on the z-axis and press S then shift set to scale it only on the x and y-axis and then G then set to grab it on the z-axis okay and then we can use the mirror modifier to add it to the bottom as well so let's mirror it on the x-axis and then use the original mesh as the mirror object then you can press G and set to adjust the placement of the cut and then before we continue, let's save one more time. So press Control Shift S. Next, we need to apply the mirror modifier. So apply. And then add the bevel modifier. And then we can use the mirrored objects to cut out the original objects. And then delete them. Then we need to enable auto smooth under normals as well. So that the cuts become smoother. Okay, and then I'm going to save one more time. Control Shift S. And then we can use the array modifier to uh, make many of these uh, chain links. Okay, so uh, decrease the relative offset and then increase the count. And I think I'm going to adjust the value slightly. So something like this. And then next, we need to add a curve to these links. So Shift A, add a circle curve, press S to scale. And then we're going to select the chain and bend it around the curve. We need to add a curve modifier and then select the curve object. And then we can increase the count until we have covered the whole curve. And then I'm just going to adjust the value slightly to make it fit perfectly. So I uh, just play around with the decimals. And then if you want to change the shape of the chain, you can just go into edit mode and then press S then X, for example, to uh, make it thinner. And then you can edit the count and the offset until it fits again. Then we have the chain. Okay, and then next we can add a plane. Press S to scale, press G, then set to grab it on the set axis. Then I'm going to add a background image. You can find free HDRIs in the description. And then let's add a sun, set the strength to 5, and press R twice to rotate the sun freely. To make the background transparent, and let's switch to cycles and use the GPU if you have one. If not, just keep using the CPU. 
Then I'm going to add a glossy shader for the floor and for the chain as well. So just decrease the roughness. And then you can give it a golden color if you want to. So something like this. And then you have a golden chain. Very quick and easy. I hope you liked it and more Blender tutorials coming very soon.